I have this unfinished round piece of wood. It's about 16 inches in diameter. I got it from Hobby Lobby and it has a raised frame around the entire circle. I'm going to paint the entire thing using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. You can also use the Wise Owl White Primer and you can pick any color of your choice. While that's drying, I'm going to take my amazing clear cast epoxy. It comes in two sides, a part A and a part B, and you want to mix equal parts of each side into the container. I get these plastic measuring cups right from the Dollar Tree. And once I have equal parts, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to stir for about three to five minutes. It really depends on the brand epoxy that you pick. But you want to make sure it is mixed well. I then ordered these fruit slices from Amazon. It came 48 in a pack, which is more than enough than needed for this project. And in this step, I'm going to lay the fruit slices down on the inside of my circle. Starting on the outer edge, I'm just going to go around the entire thing. And I do recommend that you glue these down. I did not, but I do recommend that you glue in this step. And I'm just going to fill the entire inside of the piece of wood with these fruit slices. And once I'm happy with how they all laid, I'm then going to take my epoxy that we stirred in the previous step and I'm just going to pour it on top. Now epoxy is self leveling so you do want to make sure it gets in all the little spaces between each slice of fruit. And if your board is not deep enough, you just want to make sure the epoxy does not spill over the edge of the board. Now I'm concentrating on the spaces between the fruit slices as the actual fruit slice is pretty flat. And because I did not glue them down, they are kind of floating to the top. So every once in a while you do want to go back and push them down until your epoxy starts to settle. So this was it when it was all dry. I got these really nice glass pull handles from Hobby Lobby. I go when their knobs are 50% off, which is usually every other week. And I'm going to drill holes in the side of my board. Now you do not have to go all the way through to the other end, but you do want to make them deep enough for the screw on the handle to stick in. I trimmed my screws down using a bolt cutter. I don't need the screw to go through the entire tray. So I did make those shorter on both of these glass handles. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to drill my two holes. And then I will place the handles in shortly after. Now you can just leave it at this and put your handles in and be done. But I decided to add a little more epoxy. In this round of epoxy, I did add a little bit of gold glitter. Now before I pour this, my first layer of epoxy is fully dry. You don't want to add too much or it does take a long time to cure. So if you're doing layers, I recommend that it is dry before going to the second layer. Now with this layer of epoxy, I am focusing on the spaces between the fruit slices and I'm just trying to build that up so that the epoxy is level with the fruit slice. I'm not necessarily pouring it on top of the fruit slices as most of the fruit slices are pretty flat. Now I did want to mention if you do not like working with epoxy, I feel you can recreate this without the epoxy. You will just have the empty spaces between the fruit slices, but I think it will still make a cute decor. So once I was happy with everything filled in, I'm just going to take my embossing tool. This just gets rid of any bubbles. And I got this from Michaels. You just want to do it very quickly. You do not want it to sit there for a long period of time. I'm going to use some E6000 and fill it inside the holes that we drilled for the handles. And then I will place the handles inside the pre-drilled holes. 
and then this will dry for several hours and there we go now we have this really cute summer fruit slice tray I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.